Hello friends, myself Professor R.S. Kognole from TSSM Prabhavai Savan College of Engineering, Nare Pune. In my previous videos, we have discussed all about energy loss through pipe. So now we will be discussing on numericals related to the same. First example which we are going to discuss is based on major loss that is given by Darcy Wisback equation that is HF is equal to 4 FLV square divided by 2 GD or HF is equal to FLV square divided by 2 GD. Let us start the example. Find the head loss due to friction in the pipe of diameter 300 mm and length 50 meters through which the water is flowing at a velocity of 3 meter per second using Darcy's formula. Take nu of water as 0 0.01 stokes. Nu is nothing but the kinematic viscosity which is taken as meter square per seconds which is given in stokes. So stokes is to be converted into meter square per seconds. So nu is equal to 0 0.01 into 10 raised to minus 4 meter square per seconds. If we see here the diameter of the pipe is given, length of the pipe is given and the velocity of the pipe is given. In Darcy Wisback equation, in Darcy Wisback equation, HF is equal to FLV square divided by 2GD. HF is to be found out. L is given, V is given, diameter is given 2G. The unknown is F. For F, they have given us the value for kinematic viscosity of water, which can be found out with the help of Reynolds number equation. So, Reynolds number is Vd by nu, where Vd nu, all the parameters are known and velocity, uh, sorry, Reynolds number can be calculated. With the help of Reynolds number, we will calculate the friction factor F, F is equal to 0 0.079 divided by Re raised to 1 by 4. Once F is calculated, friction factor can be calculated or head loss due to friction, fact, friction can be calculated easily. Let us see the next example. In this example, let us let's read the example. Calculate the discharge through the pipe of diameter 200 mm when the difference of the pressure between the two ends of the pipe is 500 meters apart is 500 meters apart is 4 meters of water take the value of f as 0 0.009 in the formula hf is equal to 4 flv square divided by 2 gd now in this the length of the pipe is given as 500 meters the discharge or head loss is given as 4 meters. The diameter is given as 200 mm which is 0 0.20 meters. In this equation, if we see the Darcy Wisback equation, if we see from this equation, we, if we see F is known, L is known, V is the unknown, D is known and G is the constant. So, we need to calculate the discharge. Once velocity is known using continuity equation, we can determine the discharge. So, here in this equation, only and only unknown is V. So, V is calculated over here and using continuity equation, discharge is calculated which is 0 0.0293 meter cube per seconds, which is converted into liter per seconds. Let us see the next example. This example is related to the minor loss. Find the loss of head when the pipe of diameter 200 mm is suddenly enlarged to a diameter of 400 mm. The rate of flow of water 
through the pipe is 250 lps now rate of flow is the discharge which is given the pipe first pipe is 200 mm and suddenly it is enlarged to 400 mm so here the, this is a case of sudden enlargement initial diameter pipe is 200 mm and the enlarged diameter pipe is 400 mm so if we understand if we understand if we know the equation for hl hl is equal to v1 minus v2 square bracket square divided by 2g here v1 is the velocity in the first pipe v2 is the velocity in the second pipe which we need to determine the discharge flowing through the pipe is known to us so continuity equation with the help of continuity equation q is equal to a1 v1 is equal to a2 v2 we can determine the velocities that is v1 and v2 once v1 and v2 is determined substituting it in the equation will get what is the head loss that is that comes out to be 1.816 meter of water let's understand the next example as we have seen that energy loss is based on the bernoulli's equation we'll determine or we'll solve this example using the bernoulli's equation let's read the question first determine the rate of flow of water through a pipe of diameter 20 cm and length 50 m when one end of the pipe is connected to the tank and another end of the pipe is open to the atmosphere the pipe is horizontal and the height of water in the tank is 4 meters above the center of the pipe so we can see the in the figure that a tank is provided where and it is attached with a pipe of di length and diameter given length and diameter and center of the pipe from the center of the pipe the head loss h is given as 4 meters so diameter is known length is known head loss h is known and friction factor which is given as 0.009 is also known to us now let us apply bernoulli's equation at section 1 and section 2 so section 1 will be somewhere here and section 2 is at the outlet so section 1 and section 2 of the figure let us apply bernoulli's equation here this is section 1 and this is section 2 now when we apply bernoulli's equation at these two points we get the equation as p1 by gamma or p1 by rho g plus v1 square by 2g plus z1 is equal to p2 by gamma or rho g is plus v2 square by 2g plus z2 plus loss mm -hmm. now the loss which is going to be that is going to be major loss plus minor loss so this loss includes major as well as minor so major is denoted by hf and minor is denoted by he these two losses the combination of these two losses is going to be all the losses now let us see each and every each parameter p1 by gamma and p2 by gamma here we have atmospheric pressure so these two terms are going to be zero v1 square by 2g as the liquid is in the tank velocity over there is going to be zero so this is zero this is zero z is the datum head so center line whatever we can see from there whatever we have is 4 meters so za is 4 meters over here p2 by gamma as we discussed was zero v2 is to be determined so velocity flowing through this pipe is going to be uh, uh, is going we are going to have some velocity and z2 as the center line itself is the datum is going to be zero so whatever equation remains is z1 is equal to v2 square by 2g plus all the losses so we have equation as 4, 4 is equal to v2 square divided by 2g plus major loss as well as minor loss now this v2 is replaced by v because the velocity flowing through the pipe is to be found out now let us start the equation the previous equation is written over here now major loss and minor loss let us understand from the equa from the diagram major loss over here is going to be due to friction and minor loss is going to be due to the 
minor loss over here is going to be due to the entry so minor loss is going to be due to entry and major loss is going to be due to the friction now here minor loss due to entry is given by equation 0.5 v square by 2g and frictional loss is given by the equation 4 fl v square divided by 2g so here if we see in this above equation the minor loss equation is written as 0.5 v square by 2g and this is what is the major loss equation if we see this equation the only unknown whatever we have is velocity so velocity is determined from this equation once velocity is known using the continuity equation discharge is calculated let's see another example the previous example was the water was discharged in atmosphere and now this water is discharged in the tank so let us read the question determine the difference in the elevation between the water surface in the two tanks which are connected by a horizontal pipe of diameter 300 mm and length 400 meters the rate of flow that is the discharge flowing through the pipe is 300 LPS which can be written as 0.3 meter cube per second consider all the losses and take value of f as 0.008 now consider all the losses it means we have to consider the major loss as well as the minor loss now let us understand the image figure first of all which is given we need to determine the head loss between the two tanks means the difference of the level between the two tanks is to be determined this is nothing but the total head loss which can be denoted by h in this figure if we see the discharge flowing through the pipe is given diameter is given so velocity can be easily determined with the help of continuity equation and as in the previous example which we have seen we will have the after applying the Bernoulli's equation we will have the equation as h1 is equal to h2 plus all the losses so all the losses is going to be losses due to entry and loss due to exit these two losses are going to be the minor losses and friction loss is going to be the major loss so whatever equation we have is going to be h1 is equal to h2 is it plus losses losses are major losses and minor losses major loss is due to entry and minor loss is due to outlet so entry equation we have it as 0.5 v square by 2g and outlet outlet or exit loss equation is going to be v square by 2g from these two equations we will get what is the minor loss and major loss equation is given by darcy wisback that is fl 4 fl v square divided by 2g once we substitute all these values in the above equation we will get what is the difference in the elevation or difference in the two water surfaces that is the head loss that comes out to be 40.573 hope you have understood the numericals related to energy loss 